life is a pain life is suffering, let's say and why is that? well, it's because you can be broken hurt and destroyed and so that seems pretty self-evident and worse, you know it and that makes people unique like, that's our self-consciousness, right? that's really what separates us in some sense from other creatures I mean, other creatures have some self-consciousness like, a chimp can learn to recognize itself in a mirror and so can a dolphin but, you know, that's pretty, that's pretty bare-bones self-consciousness, you know? real self-consciousness is the knowledge of your borders and not only in space but in time and as far as I can tell, human beings are the only creatures that have discovered the future and that's really good because we can plan for the future but it's really bad because, you know the future's finite and that's, like, that's a big shock to the old system and it's the existential burden that everyone bears and it's associated integrally with suffering and so then you think, well, life is suffering and, and it's finite and that's part of the suffering that's part of what you makes you question the value of existing and maybe the value of existence itself so then what do you have to wor use as a weapon against that? well, you know, we talked a little bit about responsibility that seems to work, you know the, the amount of responsibility that you adopt with re in relationship to things seems to increase your meaningful engagement and you might say, well, what's the most meaningfully engaged activity? and you might say, well how about a little reduction in the old suffering? you know, so you live your life so that you're not causing undue pain especially pointless pain that would be good, and maybe you could even be more useful than that and you could figure out some ways that some suffering yours, other people's both, if you're really, you know, hitting a home run maybe you can figure out some way that some of that could be rectified and that seems to be meaningful in and of itself I mean, if it's pain that makes you doubt the meaning of life which is perfectly reasonable then the cessation of pain the cessation of suffering, the minimization of suffering as a logical corollary should be the proper medication and so I would say that means that there's some mode that you can conduct yourself in that makes you a good person and part of being a good person is to alleviate suffering and I don't think you get to question that actually if, if the suffering itself is what's making you question the validity of your life then you can't also say that the cessation of that is not useful I mean, you can, but it's completely incoherent you can, you can claim incoherent things if you want 